All right, gang, thanks again for joining us. I'm Renee Oxford here at Waste to Wellness. I'm a fitness specialist here at Waste to Wellness and joined with Rachel and Brenda today. We're gonna to be doing a little boot camp workout. All the way, I did stretch with this Rachel. Now some equipment that we're gonna to use today are dumbbells. No, don't be afraid, we don't got dumbbells. Maybe we've got water bottles, soup cans. Um, I even use laundry detergent bottles the other night. So, you know, whatever's in your house that works is fine. A chair or bench, something elevated, even an ottoman is great, that's fine, and a mat. And when we're in the stretch portion, make sure you have a belt or a towel or a stretch rope, because we'll be working on those things, right? All right. All right, gang, well, we're gonna get this body weight workout starting here. So right here, we're gonna start with the lovely high knees, making sure you get those knees up. Now an option, if you don't like the high impact, just march. You have options. I'm gonna choose the marching today when these two get to work really hard. <laughs> Sweat, get warmed up here. Excellent, excellent. Make sure those knees are up, those knees stay up. Excellent, we're gonna a few more here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two and one, you're gonna switch it to chicks, blue chicks. Excellent. I'm already getting warm. I already did too. Warming up, warming up. So our workout just said we high will be lasting about 45 minutes in all between our camp segment and our stretch session. So that's awesome. We've got a few more right here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. Now I want you to stand with legs wide apart, hips back. You're going to shift side to side as you stretch through those inner thighs and reach across, get a little rotation in through that spine. Excellent. Make sure you're breathing in and out all the way through. Some of us tend to hold our breath. Oh. Okay, you guys get warm back there? Yep, you still got your jacket on. I know, I'm waiting. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. We have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We're going to come right back to center, or I should say right back to the top with those high knees or marching. Go through this warm up twice. Oh, she lost her jacket. She's getting warm. I hope you guys are getting warm over there. Excellent. Again, high knees. Make sure they come up. None of this. Bring them up. Excellent. We're going to 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Transition right into those glute kicks. Excellent. Woo. Yep, sweating already. Yep. <laughs> Brenda, this is your second workout already. Okay. okay. <laughs> Trooper. Excellent game. Here's five, four, three, two, one. All right, again, wide legs. Shift the uh, shift, shift, excuse me. Reaching side to side. Get adding that little bit of rotation. Reach. Reach, reach is what feels good. Yeah, just we get those tight inner thighs, this feels awesome. Nice, we have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Excellent. All right, you should be warmed up. So make sure you have your ottoman chair bench, whatever you like to use. I'm going to start out with a body weight exercise. I'm going to show you the single leg squat. Now with these two, we're going to show some options. If this is too much for you, you can also have ways to show the modified version with the kickstand foot. And Britta's going to show just a regular box squat. Yeah. All right, so here we go. We're going to do 16 per leg. Awesome. Otherwise, we're going to do 32. That's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Right? Five, make sure you're driving through that heel, activate 
Great, squeeze those glutes. Excellent job, gang. Okay, we're halfway. Awesome. Hopefully you're feeling those legs. Booty, what's that? There's some burning. A little burning, yes. Here's our final six. Five, four, three, that's all right. <laughs> Two, we're not professionals. Okay, you are no, we're not. And one. All right, we're going to switch legs if you're doing the single leg option. Whereas Brenda's going to keep going with the double leg option. Here we go. Again, you're pushing up through that foot, squeezing those glutes at the top, feeling those legs. Woo. Again, a little bit of burning in those yeah. legs. Super fun. Woo. Oh, Brenda's got an option. I love it. She picked up a hand, some weights, make it a little bit more exciting if you're doing that black squat. That's awesome. Great option. We got final six right here. Six, five, four, three, two, final one. Excellent. All right, everybody grab your hand weights or water bottles, milk jugs, whatever you got at home. We're going to be transitioning into a squat to hammer curl over press. So have a move. It'll look like this. Squat, hammer curl, and press. All right? Grab those doubles. Here we go. Squat, curl, press. Excellent. Squat, curl, press. Perfect. Here's number three. We're going to plan on doing 16 of these, gang. Yep. Four, five, six. How are we feeling back there? Ooh, eight. Excellent, gang. Nine. Get there. Ten. We got six more to go right here. Here's six. Curl and press. Five. Curl and press. Four, curl, press. Three, curl, press. Two, curl, press. Final one, curl, press. Excellent. Set your one dumbbell to the side. We're going to be using one. Now, this is an exercise we're going to have a lot of options on. So I'm going to show you one version. Rachel will show you another version. Brenna will show you the third version. So option A, you can be in a bear stance crawl, it's called, your knees are right under those hips. And we're gonna alternate dumbbell row, okay? Other option, Rachel's gonna be here, just on the knees doing the row. Brenda's gonna be out in that full plank doing a row. So we're gonna go for 16, you're gonna alternate sides. So here we go, grab those dumbbells, get in your stance, pull, and pull. Think about driving that elbow to the ceiling, keeping that body from rocking back and forth with your core work. Excellent. Excellent job, gang. Okay, we're about halfway there, and then caught up, and I might keep going. We got seven, six, five, four. Three, two, and final one. Excellent. All right, now we're going to move to being on your back on that mat. Now, give me your options here. Single leg. I'm going to show you a single leg bridge. The whole point is trying to keep that body, those hips, from rotating. Now, option A, you keep two feet on the floor. Option B, I should say B will be Rachel doing that figure four. And I'm going to do with that full leg extended. Okay? So you pick your option. We're going to go 16 per side. If you're doing a double leg, Brenda, you have 32. <laughs> All right, here we go. So lift and squeeze those glutes. Again, focus in on trying to keep those hips from rotating. It's a little effort driving through the heel of that stance foot. Perfect. We're halfway there. 
Here's number 10, count them down, five, four, oops, I'm so, oh, we gotta, oh, I gotta make sure you do six more. I was gonna say, hey, hey. hey that was nice. Yeah, so now you got two more instead. <laughs> Excellent, all right, we're gonna flip, switch your speed again, pick your poison, Brenda's gonna continue with the double leg, here we go, lift and lower, two, Excellent, again, squeezing through those glutes, dragging through the heel. What's that? Oh, you're good. <laughs> and two. Woo. Okay, here's number eight. Oh, yeah. Should you feel most of your glutes and hamstrings? We got six more. Here's six, five, four, three, two, and one, perfect, sit your feet down, sit up, grab one dumbbell. Again, we're gonna show options here. We're gonna do what I call a V-sit. So we're not gonna be curved through that spine. We're gonna be nice, tall, tall chest, shoulders rolled down and back. Holding that dumbbell lengthwise. Your feet can be on the floor or elevated, you choose. But we're gonna do a twist to one side and press through the middle. And we're gonna alternate. So we got 16 of those, so again, you can pick when you want to be up or down, it's your choice. And make sure you keep that core tight. Here we go, really good. Good stuff. That's a bonus. Yay. Bonus. Yay. Yeah. Now, here's the thing, too. I'm going to keep having you go. If you got your feet up and you're flopping all over and you're losing control, get your feet down because you're losing kind of the point of the exercise. Try to keep stable through that midsection. Excellent. So, again, yeah, core, upper body work here. Shoulders, chest, Where are we getting again? We have. Where are you at? Here we go. Here we go. Ten. Now we're on. We're on. We're on. Nine. Oops. Oh, sorry. Eight. Who cares? Seven. <laughs> a lot. Six. It is a lot. A lot going on. Five. Four. Oh, yeah. Three. Two. Five and one. All right, you're gonna lay all the way back on that mat for a second. Oh, you. That's gonna feel nice. Oh, we're not done yet. Oh, oh again, we're gonna make sure this button. Woo! All right, so you're gonna do bicycles. So you're gonna either, no, we're gonna show modifications. Advanced version, you can have those shoulders off the mat. Dumbbell just um, elevated a little bit behind that head and bicycle out. Option two is keep it up in front. Option three, your head and shoulders are on the mat. So again, you pick your choice, what you want to do. And we're going to begin right here. Excellent. And make sure you're in control with those legs. Don't be nice looking out fast. Just take your time. Feel the engagement of that core. You're touching your toes. Oh, they're playing the footsie back here. Oh, I love it. That's actually really <laughs> Oh my goodness, it's funny. I love that. It's it's right? It's harder. Oh, I've right, gone down. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Set it down. That is round one. We'll go through that one more time. Grab your water towel off a little bit. I'm going to re mic myself up because my microphone fell off. Give you about a one minute before we start again. I'm going to grab my towel. Oh, why is it? <laughs> Woo! You're setting a good example, Renee, by sweating. Oh my gosh, I should have rushed into Well done. <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah, we have ways to all those cookies that you get. What do you want to eat? Yeah, we've got way small things if you want to top today. Cool. Yeah, I may, yeah, I may need that. I'm like, oh, I'm going to show you my clothes. Oh, I got all ready to go. Yep. Oh, I don't want to marinate. <laughs> <laughs> all right, breaks over. All right, so again, grab your chair, bench, ottoman, whatever you're using. And we're going to go into those, whether you do that. Remember, again, it's double leg, single leg with a kickstand, or hover with that leg. Brenda's going to again use the option of dumbbells in her hand. You can pick your choice. And we're speaking. Here we go. We got 16 per side. 
Do no judgment to those of you that work with me when I talk and can't count. So, and I know you're laughing at me right now. Don't tell them how many. I don't care. <laughs> They'll never know. That's true. So slow burns. Well, here we're halfway. I'm actually trying to say. Nice. All right, we got six more on this leg. Here's six, five, four, and three, two. Get your final one. Excellent. All right, we're going to shift that to that other foot. Brenda's going to continue on double leg. And here we go. And good. Ooh, Rachel, we're in sync again. Good job. Look at all of us. We can skip one. Ah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, whew. Definitely sweating. Six. Ooh. Yeah, pushing through that heel left foot. Let's activate those glutes a little bit. Think about squeezing at that top. Woo. Excellent. We're halfway through right here. There's eight. We're counting down. Seven. Six. Five, woo, four, I heard that. <laughs> Three, two, final one. There you go, good. All right, grab your dumbbells. We're working into that squat, curl to overhead press. And here we go. We're gonna squat, come up, hammer curl it, press. Perfect. This we look so good, ladies. All the cue, all the same. Yep. <laughs> Excellent. Woo. And again, keeping in mind, driving through those heels, your hips go back on that squat. Check those knees. Awesome. Awesome. Woo. Girl and press. Halfway mark right here. All right, count them down. It's all the time. The numbers get smaller. Eight, seven, curl, six, five, here's four, and three, Woo. two, last one right here coming up. There it is. Excellent. All right, you're back to that mat. We have one dumbbell. This is that renegade roll. Hand plank. You remember again, you have options whether you're just rowing from the knee, hovering, or all the way into a plank. So you pick your poison. Everybody's going to get up in their position. And here we go. You're going to row. Alternate arms. Row. And again, try to keep that body still so there's not so much movement with the truck. Hip stabilization, core work. Woo. Driving that elbow back. Make sure when you are lifting that that elbow is coming all the way up behind your back. Don't stop short. Extend all the way up. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And one, excellent, come on down, good. Then we're gonna flip back over. We got that glute brisk, put down up to the side. So again, you have options. Whether you wanna do single leg or double leg. All right, you're gonna pick your poison. What are you gonna run the double leg? Ooh, she's gonna add dumbbells. For those that are doing double leg, you should probably add dumbbells, if you like that. A little more extra, extra, extra. All right, I'm gonna have to float that leg. You pick your poison. Here we go. We're going to lift and squeeze through that glute and down. Lift and down. Good. Again, feeling glutes and hamstrings engaged. Ooh, I love it. Nice. We're almost there. Halfway through. Got eight more in this leg game. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, get one more. Excellent. We're just going to continue with the double leg. Everybody else, if you're doing that single leg, switch it. Here we go and lift 
and lower two. And so again, squeezing those glutes at the top, engage those. Awesome. You yeah, feel that burn, right? Halfway mark is right here. Out and down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more time, and nice, set that down, good job. All right, grab your one dumbbell, coming back up, sitting up, again into that V sit, so we have that nice straight back, not a curved back, nice and tall. And again, your feet can be up or down, your choice. Here we go, we're gonna rotate to one direction, and press. Other way, and press. Excellent. Yes, again, make sure that you don't round. As you get tired, maybe you need to sit up a little higher. That's fine. Check that spine. Woo! Excellent, gang. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, almost there, two, final one, awesome. All right, keep that down now, come down to the mat all the way. Now again, got those bicycles, you have the option to be here bicycling, here bicycling, or here bicycling. Okay, and get in your position, and here we go. Nice and controlled, awesome, awesome. Keep that little back fairly flat into the mat. Nice job. Everybody's got a level or an option here. This is great. You come on, guys. I know we're probably going nowhere. <laughs> okay. anyway. Oh, that's true. We can't go anyway. Yeah. <laughs> that's the point. <laughs> Ten and nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, final one. Put that dumbbell down. Excellent job, okay. That's your portion of the strength work, I should say the strength workout. As we talk off the rest for the water, we're just gonna come up front, we're gonna sanitize and switch all mics. And make sure you have that rope, belt, or a lot bit large towel, so that doesn't uh, stretch for fortune segment. Yeah. All right, so hang tight, we'll be right back. Renee, can you come from here? Oh, absolutely. Gotta get you live. You're great. Green light. All right. I think I'm on. All right, everyone. Now we get to we get to stretch out. I'm just realizing I'm a lot taller than Renee. You might have to go back a little bit. Everybody. She was in the camera, um, but I will not be. I'm not going to go back. Wow, I feel sort of gigantic. Anyway. We're good. So we're going to start by rolling the shoulders up, rolling back. We've got about 15 minutes. Um, well, give or take. So we'll roll the shoulders out a little bit. And let's inhale, stretch the arms high to the sky. Exhale, think down into a little gentle chair. Inhale, stretching high. Exhale, sinking down. Now you can go at your own pace here. You don't have to follow our pace. If you prefer to go slower or faster, you're welcome to. Exhaling on the down and inhaling on the up. Two more. All right, let's hold our chair. So sit down in this gentle chair. Now, if you're a yogi, you can bring the knees together and you go to what you would consider your regular yoga chair. Otherwise, just hang up here. You do a little a spinal twist. So bring one hand to the thigh, the other hand to the spine. I like to start this way. Gentle rotation. Abdominals pulled in really strong. 
Now, you can always take a prayer hand position and reach across. Kind of rotate to the side. And this is just meant to feel good. We're not straining or pressing. We're just enjoying a little bit of a, a rotation through the shoulders and spine and low back. From here, forward fold. Release. Fingertips towards the floor. No need to touch it. Relax the neck. Shake the head no. Shake the head yes. Arms just dangle. Another breath in through the nose and out through the nose. As your breathing resumes or comes down with your heart rate, you can go to nose breathing. Slowly rolling up then one vertebrae at a time. Inhale, stretch high to sky. Exhale, sink down to chair. Again, inhale, stretching high to sky. One more chair here, hold. We're gonna rotate the other direction. So one hand to stay from the other hand to thigh. Gently rotate, keeping the belly firm, the spine pulled nice and long. Option is to bring the hands to prayer, reach across the thigh to go for a little bit more rotation. We're nice and warmed up now, so this might feel better than it usually does. But again, listen to your body. We don't wanna be forcing anything, but just allowing the body to move and to flex and stretch. One more breath. And forward fold, fingertips towards the floor. Let's slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. Inhale the arms high to sky. Exhale, six chair. We're gonna hang out here in a chair for just a moment. I just have to share. I'm pretty sure there's heavy metal music playing I know, right now, sure which is that. hilarious. <laughs> I mean, it's okay, I don't think anyone else can hear it, but anyway, it's fun to sit with rest too. And inhale, stretch high to sky. It's okay, Renee. Exhale, one more chair. And right now we're gonna come over then to the side of our mat. If you wanna take your shoes off, now's a great time. Feels great to get the shoes off. After a good workout, and being that you're in the privacy of your own home, you're not bothering anybody by doing it. So let's come on over to the side. And we'll be doing a little bit of a, a sun salutation flow. So inhale, stretch it out. Exhale, diving out. And since we're at the back of our mat, we're just gonna crawl out into a little bit of a plank. And while we're in our, our plank, we can be in a kneeling plank or a full plank. Your choice. All right, so here we are. Let's press back into a child's pose or down dog. I'm going to show child's pose. And um, Renee and Brenda can choose whatever they like today. We're in child's pose, nestle into the hips, and just kind of um, roll left to right. We need to take the socket a little bit. We're in down dog. Know that there's nothing special about having straight knees. Relax the knees, bend them a little bit. So as your tailbone can lift up, it's like that. Relax into the heels, maybe pedal through. The legs as Renee is showing behind me. From here, forward into a kneeling or full plank. Lower the body all the way down to the mat. From here, lift into cobra. What we do is we pull the elbows into the ribs, squeeze the glutes and thighs, and then draw up and forward with heart center. Hold here for an inhale. Exhale, lower down. We're going to do that again. Inhale, lifting up. Hold for a moment. And exhale, lower down. Again, inhale, lifting up, elbow squeeze, rip, up center, pulse forward. Exhale, release, child's pose or down dog again. Knowing that we are just relaxing into these poses, paying attention to how the muscles are feeling and working with our breathing. We can only exhale and do the arms. All right, from here we're gonna come to all fours. Hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. What feels really good here, um, if you're taking care of your wrist, other than just bothering your wrist, just pull your mats up, put the edge of your wrist on there, and that uh, takes that extreme bend out. Otherwise, another option is fist for wrist, which we love. What we're gonna do is sign a mat. We'll extend one leg, and then reach the opposite arm forward. Hold for a moment, and then maybe sit down, other side. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, lower the bone. Again, move at your pace. Just on the inhale, we'll reach long. On the exhale, just have your hands in the back leg. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to lower. A few more here. Inhale, stretch. Exhale down. Inhale, stretch. Exhale down. And hold. Cat pose. Exhale, tracking the tailbone under, pulling up with the belly. Gently rounding to the shoulders. And inhale, reverse. I have a favorite hand position when I do this. Let's come to neutral, I'll show you. So you can turn your fingertips out first and then start to point them in towards you. Hope this bothers your wrist, don't do it. But it could feel really good here. 
tuck the tailbone under. And we did this time with those that the abdominals we had to kick on in order to move you to have release into the pose. This is a great way to put the emphasis of the pose into the pelvis where it should be. Oftentimes we overdo it in the shoulders. Inhale to lengthen out of the back. Exhale, cat pose again. Inhale to neutral. Good. From here, you're going to come up onto the knees now. If it bothers you to be on your knees, just come on up to standing for everything we're about to tell you, okay? Again, if it's bothering your knees, come up to standing. Otherwise, layer up your mat. That's always a good idea. Camel pose. It's a hip opener and chest opener. So bring the uh, knuckles to the sacrum behind us, or if it feels better on your shoulders, just open up your hands and rest them on the From here, squeeze the glutes, lift up on the hip tips, tuck under on the tailbone. So it's a posterior pelvic tilt. Lengthen up through heart center. We're going to think about extending the spine back, careful with the neck. Um, there's a tendency to throw the head back there, thinking that that's what we need to do. We don't. Put the head, follow the curve of the spine, and keep the neck and shoulders safe. Do what feels good and avoid straining. Inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the nose. We've got one more breath here. Lengthening through the spine, tightening the glutes, lifting up on the hip tips and release child's pose. Rest down onto the elbows, relax into the hips and a little trick with child's pose. Um, widen out the knees or narrow them so that the hips and knees feel good. There's no right way to do this, there's just no way. Let's hang out here for another breath. And good. Let's come on up onto the knees. And we're going to kick the legs around out in front. We're going to come into a butterfly pose. So feet together, grab hold of the toes, lengthen up through heart center. Now, if the toes are too far away or this isn't comfortable, just make it what works for you. All right? And you can even do this a little bit from a chair if you needed to, and just let the knees move up to the sides and then lean chest forward and down. So with this, we're gonna inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, drop down gently. And we're gonna do that. So you're gonna be moving through this stretch, inhaling to lengthen the spine, and exhaling to draw the chest forward. So you're gonna feel almost like your body's breathing with you, expanding, and then lowering down. And there's a reason for the lengthening of the spine. Um, we don't want compression through the vertebrae. We really want to focus on elongating before we bend the compressions. This straight. Inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the nose. One more breath here. We store a lot of stress in our hips, so it takes some time to stretch them out. Can actually help us in ways that maybe we didn't realize. Let's come on up. All right, left leg out to the side, right foot tucked into the thigh. Lengthen that spine. It's always, always think long and tall with the spine. We'll rotate towards the straight leg. And with firm abdominals, we'll lean out over that leg so that we feel a stretch. Knowing that we want to stretch it to maybe, maybe 70% of where we can go. We just want to feel some gentle tension so we feel like we're stretching, but we're not stretching to pain. And I'm hanging out here. If your foot is close enough and you want to grab hold of it, you certainly can. Also, if you have that strap or belt, this is a great, a great stretch to put that strap or belt around the ball of the foot and draw back. You can add in a bonus calf stretch, which always feels nice. And we'll hang out here for another breath or two. Always good to take time on our stretches so that maybe we can lengthen the muscle in a way that lasts. And let's slowly release up. Roll the ankle around a little bit, especially the other leg. The leg up to the side, the other foot into the thigh. Lengthen up through the spine. Gently rotate towards the leg. So again, always listening to your body. If something doesn't feel right, it doesn't feel good, ease up. Start to lengthen out over the leg. And as long as we feel a stretch happening, we're doing it right. Option to use that strap or belt or towel, put it around the ball of the foot, and draw the body out over the leg a little bit. Inhaling and exhaling. Breathing in through the nose and breathing out through the nose. Take another breath here. Paying attention to how the body's feeling. 
How are the hips feeling? Are you noticing this maybe in the, the low back or hamstring calf? And just be present. And we'll slowly release. And now we really get to have fun with the straps. This is the most favorite stretchy, um, I think. So we're gonna lie on the back and we'll do all angles hamstring stretches. And so lie on down with me. And we'll grab hold of the strap. Put it around the center of the right foot or a little bit to the, the wide part of the ball of the right foot. You want more of a calf stretch. Now notice I've got my other leg bent, or knee bent with my foot on the ground. You can do that. Or you can extend the leg out. So it depends on uh, what you need today. Let's draw that leg in towards the chest. You can wiggle the ankle around a little bit and notice how that changes the stretch. And just hang out here and breathe. This is a great time to let the eyes close and pay attention to your body and to your breathing. This is a great, great hamstring stretch and calf stretch. When these guys get tight, we can have tension that, that extends up into the hips and into the back. And so we're actually helping the whole body by stretching down this posterior line. Another breath in and another breath out. All right, holding on just with the right hand, we're going to open the leg away from the body. If you feel a little unstable doing this, take that left hand and reach it out to the side to help anchor you down. We'll start to open the leg to the side. It just changes the angle of the stretch. We're going to get a little bit more of an adductor stretch. We'll continue to stretch into our hamstrings as well. And just hang out here. One interesting thing is the other leg, the top of the other leg, your hip flexor, you might feel in there as well. Hold it on. All right, another breath in. And out. All right, slowly returning the leg to center and switching our grip, holding on with the left hand. This is this is one you want to take a little slower uh, so you can feel everything along the way. So right arm can be out to the side here. Start to bring the leg over the body. And notice, if you're paying attention, you'll notice that the stretch moves around as that angle changes on the muscle pull. So breathe as that leg comes over. If you find a spot that feels really great, just hold there, hold there. Otherwise, if you keep on going, the hip does start to lift off the ground here a little bit. It's really high. Go into a little bit of a spinal twist. At a certain point, that leg might start to kind of fall to the side, no problem. That left elbow can catch you on the other side, or I should say the back of your arm will catch you. One more breath here. Big breath in and big breath out. And good, let's return to center and switch legs. So I'll do all of that on the left foot. So we're going to position the strap in about the same place on the foot as we did on the other side. Then you can be bent with the foot flat or the leg extended. We'll just draw that leg in towards the chest. Thinking about a nice tall spine, anchored hips. Great time to close the eyes. Just breathe. Feeling the belly rise as you inhale. And the belly fall on the exhale. Maybe wiggle the ankle around a little bit. Yeah, draw that leg in. Make sure we're feeling about that 70% stretch. You know something's happening and it feels pretty good. All right, holding on to the left, with just the left hand, and start to open the leg out to the side. My right arm can be out to still balance you. As you move the leg out to the side, take your time. Every inch move changes the stretch a little bit, so let's enjoy the journey. Breathing in through the nose, and breathing out through the nose. Lengthening through the muscle. And slowly returning the leg to center. Switching our grip, holding on just with the right hand. Anchoring down into the hip, relaxing through the shoulders. And start to draw the leg over the body and then across the body. Okay, nice and slowly. If you find an area where you think, oh, that's a good stretch, why don't you just stay there? It's gonna work out in your time. Maybe the leg continues to come across. And you can turn it into a little bit of a spinal twist as well. 
So the word feels right for you. One more breath. And slowly returning to center. Fantastic. Set the strap down to the side. Figure four stretch. Crystal favorite. Ankle over the knee. And if you're already feeling the stretch here, great. Stick one. If you want more, draw the legs in towards the chest. Now another thing, taking care of our knees if you want to have great knee safety, dorsiflex the foot. That means um, flexing the foot in the opposite that you would imagine a pelvic to do. And then draw the legs in towards the chest. We're holding behind one side and get around the other knee. And the target is left glute right now. Maybe roll the ankles around, you should feel really good. Heavy into the low back. And good, release, we'll switch sides. Right ankle over. Yeah, right ankle over the left knee. Draw the legs into the chest. And roll the ankles around. Thinking about anchoring down into the hips, into the low back, drawing the legs in towards the chest. But we're kind of keeping a nice relaxed neck and shoulders. Dorsi flexing the feet. For the anti ballerina, if you feel any tension in the knee, you can also just ease off the stretch at the same time. One more breath. And good. Okay, feet on the ground, knees bent, arms gently to the sides, gentle knee sways. Let's just relax the body and with the controlled sway, let the knees roll over to the left a little bit. Pay attention to how that feels in your body. Knees back to center. And other direction, knee sway. And back to center. One more time, each side, gentle knee sway. And return. And final knee sway. And back to center. Good. Knees to chest. Give them a hug. Wrap them all from side to side, massaging the low back into the ground. All right, let's roll onto the right side of the body and we'll press up to a seated position. So take your time coming up. All right, a few final arm stretches, one arm across the front. Give it a squeeze, look over to one side and look over to the other. It's kind of a sneaky way to get a neck stretch in too. And head back to center, switch it up. Arm across the front, pull it in. Turn the head from side to side slowly. That's your piece. And good. Bring your head back to center. Release. Little tricep stretch. Bring the arm up and then drop the hand behind the back. The other hand is going to reach up and grab over the back of the tricep or elbow and poke that arm back a little bit more. So you can feel a stretch anywhere down the side of the arm, maybe even into the side of the back. Keep the abdominals firm, good posture. And release, other arm, we'll bring the arm up, drop the hand behind the spine, and then reach up to grab over the back of the tricep, draw backward with the arm, trying to keep the neck neutral. Sometimes we crane the head in one way or another to try and get the arm where it needs to be. Just roll with it. All right, and release, shake it out. We're gonna make our way up to standing. If you're comfortable, come to a crouch position. We'll get, we'll get here into a crouch. And then drop the heels down into a forward fold. Slowly roll up one vertebra at a time. Inhale the arms high to sky. I have to step back so my head is completely cut off. And sink down into a little chair. Inhale, stretching up. Exhale down. One more breath here together. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, hands through heart center. And thank you for joining us for class today. Renee, you are awesome. And Brenda, as always, is for so we are providing free classes through the end of April for sure, and um, this is made possible by the Fairview Foundation. You can find all of our classes on our landing page, discoverw2w.org, and there's a calendar there, so you can always uh, backslash calendar. And you can call us at 651-232-1926, or email us at wastewellness@healthies.org. And thank you for joining us today. Have a glorious day, and uh, we'll see you in the next class. Take care.